Hello and welcome to the third IGCSE Maths tutorial and today we're going to be covering sequences, okay? So, turn to, we need to turn to page 7. This is 1.2. 1 and we should see exercise 7. So it says write down each sentence and find the next two numbers. Uh, okay, let's do. Okay, number one. That's two. Actually, I don't want to do it in red. Uh, let's do it in uh, orange. So two, six, ten. 14 okay so we so we need to find the next term we need the next two terms we need to find the common difference okay so what's the difference between this one four difference between these two four to find the difference between these two four so the difference between this two will be four so we have to add four becomes 18 between this one will be four and so this one's going to be 22. Okay, that was number one. Um, uh, yeah. Let's try a harder one. Yeah, let's try fifteen. Oh, I'll actually need more. Sp hmm. Okay, so I'll just clear that. What I did there. Uh, 15 is 2, 5, 11, 20. So let's find the common difference. Difference between these one is uh, 3. Difference between these ones is not 3 though. It's 6. And difference between these ones is 9. So what we actually need to do is we need to find the second difference. So the difference between these ones, three and six. The difference between three and six is three. The difference between six and nine is three. So the next one is going to be if that's three, the next one's going to have to be twelve. Which then can then tell us twenty plus twelve is going to be equal to a thirty-two. This again, 3, 12 makes 15, 15 plus 32 makes uh, 47, 47. So, these are all quite easy. Sometimes you'll need to do third differences, and sometimes you'll, you, no, you probably won't need to do fourth differences. So the sequence stuff is actually quite easy. Okay? But, let's move on to page 8. Page 8, it says, look at the sequence of starts 5, 9, 13, 17. Let's clear this. And this is actually going to be page Down eight. 1.2 page 8. So now we're on page 8 and we're doing, look at the sequence. What is the 10th number in the sequence? What is the nth number in the sequence? Is there a formula we could easily find the numbers? Well, there is a way to make a formula. Let's get it. Let's first put the just one down. We need, um, still in sequence, still your orange. So let's put it down. 5. 9, 13, 17. So, w there are two factors, we, there are two things we need to get. We need to find D, and we need to find a number. We will call this uh, 
B. We need D and B. So, we know the formula for an arithmetic sequence is always into in this form. It's A N plus B. That's important. In fact, I'm putting it up here. A N plus B. That is very important. A N plus B. So, the, it's very easy to find A because A A is is diff. The A is the difference. So we know that the first one we have the difference is always going to be let's see it's four 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 so it's four in plus a number. Oops, should have done that. So what we do to find out what number it is, we're actually going to substitute one into the equation. So let's make some space here. So what it is we have we know that we know that four because n equals one, we n equals one, this is the first term. We have four plus b equals five. Find b. Simple algebraic re rearrange and gives us b is equal to one. So plus or one. And that is the formula for our formula. <laughs> That's the formula for this sequence, okay? So let's use it to find the 100th term. Okay, not the 100th, the 1000th term. It's going to be times that will be equal to 4, 0, 0, and 1. So, we have the formula, we can find any one you like, no matter how big or small. So, let's try one more here. These sequences are all arithmetic. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, let's do... 11. And this is on page 9. Okay, so this is 11. Find the formula for the nth term of the sequence. And that's... We have 7, actually I won't do 11, that's too easy. Let's do, uh, hmm. Let's do 5. 5. So, we've got 5, 5, 8, 1, 1. And one four. I'll just put our formula back up. Remember A N plus B. That's important. So well, as I said that's important. First we need to find the the A. A is a three here. A is three here, A is three here. So A is equal to three. So we can put a three in plus a number. Actually, we could, it could be minus a number, we don't know. But it's going to be plus. So what we do is we substitute it in. When, for when n equals one, n equals one, we know that three, a plus b equals five. Don't need that. So three plus b equals five. What's b? B is equal to two. So if b is equal to two, we add two. 
And let's say you just have to find the fifty seventh time. And just use calculate like this. So three times fifty seven. So three times fifty seven is one seventy one plus two, that's gonna be equal to one seven seven three. Very good. And stuff. So, let's see what we've done. That is really cool. But there's another type of sequence that we need to do. And it's actually a geometric sequence. And we don't need to do many of them. Like, we only need to do, like, squares and cubes. But let's go to exercise 12. Okay, so we'll be read again for questions. So, the one is 12. So, 12. It's 1, 4, 9, 16. Now, the formula we had before, the, the AX plus B, that really important formula does not apply it is it is useless here we do not use that formula in fact for these types we actually have to recognize them okay and with this one is recognizable as yeah let's actually do the differences so difference here is three difference here is five Difference here is the difference here is seven. So the difference is increasing by two each time. Okay? So if it's down here in this one, it tells us I'm sure it's jot in the one. Sixteen it goes onwards to uh twenty-five, which means it has another a difference again of Yep, the difference is 9. So the difference is always 2. So this tells us that the formula is actually going to be...